I've just been relaxing in the garden in the sun for a couple of hours and it's now 12 p.m. midday. I've kind of felt at a loss of things I can film because the last few days I've kind of just been going on my morning run and then spending the whole day inside. Plus it's half term and it's quite touristy here so it's quite busy so I kind of am just staying home and doing nothing interesting but I just wanted to share where I'm at. I got my dissertation marks and I got 73%. I'm happy with that but when I got my results I woke up from a nap and I saw my results and I literally didn't feel happy, I didn't feel sad, I felt absolutely nothing. And I think that's just because I went through so many emotions when I was making it, or writing it rather, that I kind of lost the ability to care, I guess. It was just too much for me and it really affected me mentally, emotionally, so now that it's fully over I, I don't even feel relief. I just kind of need to move forward, that's how I feel. <laughs> I just went inside to get some Vinto, which I love. I don't really know where I was, but yeah. Every morning I run, today I did five miles. If I'm going for a run, I'll have some porridge first. If I'm just going for like a 30 minute walk, then I'll just go. On Wednesday, I ran seven miles and they always get myself a treat on the way home. So on Wednesday, I got a new fresh loaf of bread and it was like, warm in my hands when I was running and I could smell it and it's still going strong in the kitchen so I'm gonna have that for lunch in a second and today I bought persimmons which I had for the first time last week and they are so good. These aren't ripe so I can't have one and very unfortunately but they taste like between a mango and an orange I'd say and they have a bit of like a cinnamony taste to them. They're so good and I just rip this out with a spoon and eat the whole thing. I eat the skin as well. I know some people don't eat the skin but I just think this is like the easiest fruit to eat. Um, so hopefully I can have one tomorrow or maybe the day after. I've just kind of been taking it easy. I, I think my expectations for myself were a bit too high that I thought immediately after university ended I kind of would bounce back immediately to doing everything I wanted and I don't know if that's unrealistic or what because I thought I would feel like a massive sense of relief and feel really happy but I kind of didn't feel any better for a while and it was difficult for me because I started to sort of worry like when am I going to feel better and because I've always associated my emotional stress with university stress. I always kind of thought it would go when I finished university but then when it didn't go I was kind of thinking like okay well what if this is just me? What if I'm just this way and it won't get better? But I'm trying to not think like that you know. I have been under an enormous amount of stress for a really long time and I think it's completely normal for your body to just take a minute to decompress and sort of realise that you're not really stressed out anymore, you know? There is a fly in here with me, I hope you can't hear that, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling a bit better day by day, still in therapy. I have fixed my sleep schedule. I wake up at around five or six and I'm just sleeping with my blinds open and going to bed at around 10 and then I wake up naturally and I just get up and go. And it feels amazing and I'm very satisfied with that. I'm drinking a lot more water, I'm eating way more fruit and veg, like everything is kind of good and I'm just adding things back into my routine, like even just reading a little bit. I'm still on book one, it's a bit ridiculous but I'm gonna get back to reading soon. But yeah, like even things that I thought were relaxing can sometimes take it out of me, like reading or going on a walk, like sometimes I just don't have it in me to do that. But slowly, it's getting better and every so often I have a new creative idea and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't realize I was still capable of being creative <laughs> but here I am so trying my best I'm going to start my freelance editing work again soon and I just have a few things in the back of my mind that I want to do so hopefully this summer I can kind of work on what I feel like doing and try not worry too much about like career path and stuff like that 
like I just kind of want to live in the moment and be happy and you know take every day as it comes so today I am going to watch The Little Mermaid with my boyfriend <laughs> at 2 p.m and it's currently half 12 and I need to make lunch for me and my mum so I really need to start now because I need to walk to the cinema but yes it is a beautiful day it is a beautiful time to be alive you know I am just grateful I am grateful for everything even though sometimes I have really hard days and it makes me kind of feel like things won't get better. I'm still trying to appreciate what I learn and appreciate my mind, appreciate my body. Like just trying to think of things to be thankful for every day. Like persimmons, obinto, like also trying to get back to yoga and meditating. But yeah, things have been getting better for me and I just wanted to share that. So even though some days it's like up and then it's like really down but then it's like up again up again so maybe it's down a bit again and it's up it's still okay you know not every day can be amazing not every day will be bad that is life so i'm trying to appreciate this time that i have now because i know it is unlike any other time i will ever experience again let us go and make some avocado toast <laughs> to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm currently in a sort of limbo phase after university and I'm exploring the idea that I don't necessarily have to aim for the 9 to 5 job that I feel is expected of me. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, but did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes too? Traditional work and jobs are not one size fits all and with Skillshare you can learn how to design a career to fit you.
I've been taking classes on both creative confidence and silencing your inner critic and build a creative career full-time or freelance. I'm trying to improve on my time management and my video editing skills, but I've also been trying to find inspiration to create some art. Mimi Chow's class, Mindful Growth, Learn a Transformational Approach to a Fulfilling Creative Life, has been amazing in finally helping me feel inspired and creative again, and has also made me realise how much of a connection there is between your art and mind. If you're looking for a chance to explore Skillshare's library of online classes, or perhaps achieve some new goals, the first 1,000 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. chicken rice ball roasted vegetable and pesto wrap Mm-hmm. <laughs> 